Hey there, it's Andrew Palmer from Bertha.ai. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Bertha to write a blog post. In this blog post, I'm going to write an article on the best way to start a restaurant in your local area. I've already created some images for them, but I can do that as well uh, while we're going through this tutorial. So hang tight and listen and learn. Here so we start off with a prompt and I want a unique value proposition. Now I've already put this in for a website, but I can write a quick uh, little thing. I want to uh, tell people how to open a restaurant in their, in the local area that they live and love. There we go. Just gonna correct some spelling errors. And here we go. Now, Bertha may uh, ask you to give you some more words, but on this instance, you can just generate ideas and click and Bertha will get the idea. Launch your dream restaurant in your local area with somebody's hero. So that's taken uh, something from uh, basically my own uh, somebody's hero website. And uh, I can just kick that out. So that's it. Launch your dream restaurant in your local area, the ultimate guide to restaurant success. So that's great let's just use that title to write something uh in chat let's say let's use chat you can use prompts as well but just for speed so i want to write a blog post around this subject put a colon in there paste that text in correct any spelling errors bertha doesn't really mind sparing error spelling errors she figures it out so here we go comment on that and let's see what we get there we go and there we go we've got all that data now in Bertha you can just copy that text in in the chat and write and paste it straight in there and it does it for you so she's great uh um, and basically writing stuff so we've already got the title we don't need to take that uh and we can take out the in introduction part uh, we always know about finding a niche that's what we as web developers try and advise our customers to find a niche and let's have a look let's see if we can get a little featured image in there uh let's use it let's use a featured image for there so uh restaurant design around let's say mediterranean now i always get this spelling wrong but um bertha will help me out with that let's have a look restaurant design around a mediterranean cuisine i want it to be hyper realistic so let's do a colon hyper realistic modern design and colorful let's have a look see what we get let's cre create some images so we've got some nice stuff going on here let's have a look so yeah very nice it's uh pretty good i'll take that one actually i'll just say uh save and set as the featured image which is what you can do in the WordPress plugin. Now, if you're using the Chrome extension, you could download the image or you could just copy the image and paste it in there. So that's fine. So we've got that in the media in there. So let's uh, close Bertha down, save the draft, have a little look at the preview on the desktop because that's what I'm working on. And there we go, you've got a nice featured image there. Beautiful. Let's go back and uh, add some more to this uh, post. I want to add a, another image. And let's say sea bass with green beans, green beans, uh, capers, and a butter lemon sauce on a nice blue plate let's have a look see what Bertha comes up with not too bad let's have that one let's upload that to the media folder quite nice sea bass 
green beans it's got the capers in there blue plate beautiful so let's go to the media library close down bertha there it is so we can write in that sea bass with capers and green beans always good to have alternative text it helps for accessibility so we'll center that image because that's just the way i roll and if i want to add another image within here all i do is i just choose another block go for an image and let's have bertha create a moussaka i've asked bertha to improve the um text or improve the description there and let's create an image from there let's see what we can do and there you go you've got a nice picture there i think i love this one let's upload that to the media folder now the nice thing about bertha as well and she's uploaded that that's fine you can actually take all of the text there and let's just copy the bits that are relevant because some Bertha sometimes runs out of words on the image description, but that's no problem. Let's now go back to the media file. We've got this Moussaka that's looking great on a blue plate. It's very consistent with the Seabass blue plate as well. That's pretty cool. And you can actually paste all of that description into the alternative text. That helps accessibility and tells people what the image is. And also tells Google what the image is as well. So quality content, quality images. That's just basically what you're looking for, isn't it? And that's all you've got. That's Bertha. And that post took 11 minutes and 45 seconds to save that draft out. And we recommend, obviously, that you go in and edit it, put your own look and feel on it. And uh, you can see that it's a great little blog post. And as I say, took under 12 minutes to do.